Pisces. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Therapy Thursday. You guys come on in and we're going to discuss a topic. my charger how's everyone doing thanks for being here it's therapy thursday guys therapy thursday thanks for being here how is everybody doing why am i saying therapy thursday it's not thursday i think it is last week it's wednesday <laughs> i'm so funny <laughs> it's not thursday Oi, oi, oi. I need a vacation. That's all I can say. It's Wednesday. I'm not changing the title. So how is everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well. I know that it's Wednesday. I know it's not Thursday. I guess I want it to be Thursday so bad. How are you guys doing? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Dallas County Scratcher, how are you doing? How's your Thursday going for you? Thanks for being here. If you could please hit the thumbs up button on coming in. How are you doing? I'm about to, if this is your first time, well, thanks for being here with me. I appreciate you spending some time out of your busy schedule giving me a few minutes of your time. So it's Therapy Thursday, guys. Therapy Thur Why am I saying Thursday? I want it to be Thursday so bad. I even put in the title. <laughs> I even put in the title that it's Therapy Thursday. It's not Thursday. Oh my goodness. It's Wednesday. So um, today, <laughs> it's supposed to be Inspirational Wednesday. I don't know. I don't know what to say. So it's Inspirational Wednesday. So uh, today's topic for Inspirational Wednesday is going to be about focus. We're going to talk about focus today. Hey, Jordan. How are you doing? Welcome to my live. If you could thumbs it up on coming in. I know it's, I know it's Wednesday. I don't know why I put Thursday. <laughs> why I put Thursday in the title. I guess I want it to be Thursday so badly, and I know it's not Thursday. I don't know why I put that in the title. I guess I was thinking about tomorrow or something. But anyways, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can change the title. I can edit it, I don't know. But how are you guys doing? Uh, thanks for being here with me. I'm gonna put this in the description box. Yeah, I know it's Wednesday. So guys, thanks for being here. I appreciate that so much. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for your time. So guys, it's Inspirational Wednesday, not <laughs> Therapy Thursday. I guess I want it to be Therapy Thursday so bad. So I'm going to put this in the title here. Inspiration Wednesday. Oh. So I just changed that. It's Inspiration Wednesday. So uh, today we're going to talk about the things that will inspire your mind and your heart. There are so much things in life um, that can cause you to kind of, oh, almost lost my camera. Almost. Okay, that's better. There, that's better. Okay, guys. So there's so much things in life that can cause you to lose your focus in life. So many things that can cause you to lose your focus. 
and you don't have to lose your focus. Um, that's why it's important to look at your life um, and look at a priority, prioritize your life. We can prioritize whatever is important to us. We all know that. We make time for the things that's important to us, don't we? Whatever it is in our lives, um, whether it's our children, it's our job, um, it's a vacation, whatever it is important uh, to us, what do we do? We make time for it. We focus in on it. So I want to give you guys some inspirational thoughts, some motivational thoughts, some positive thoughts um, for your mind and your heart on this Wednesday. I know that the title says Thursday, but yeah, <laughs> I want it to be Thursday so bad, I guess. I don't know. I guess I want it to be Thursday, but I know. It's Wednesday, it's Wednesday. I digress. So guys, I'm gonna give you some something inspirational. I'll just, just start off with a story for today. I'm not doing a long live stream today, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about um, the reason why I decided to um, be you know, inspirational, talk about these topics uh, to you guys and to others is because I, there was a time, I'll just say, there was a time in my life where I wasn't as positive as I am now. And I feel like sometimes when you get, I wouldn't say low, but when situations happen in your life, um, it causes you to have a different uh, movement, a different way of thinking. So at the time, I was going through a situation um, in my family where I was just so down. I was so depressed. I felt like, you know, I didn't matter. I didn't feel like I had a purpose. I was just kind of lost out there. And um, I was always looking for, to others for my joy. I was looking to others for my positivity. And I think that's where I went wrong because I think sometimes you have to know and understand that nobody is going, it, nobody can give you your joy and your love and your light. You have to first possess, possess that. But at the time, you know, I didn't possess it. I didn't possess. Oh, thank you, Prince Network. Thanks for being here. Where you been, bro? Where have you been? I've been seeing you for a while. You okay? So, um, at the time, I was going through so much in my life, you know. Um, I had kind of lost my focus kind of down, kind of depressed, and um, I was just lost. I'll just put it that way. I was just lost, and one day I had, okay, great, busy with music. You're doing music, um, Prince Network? So I was kind of lost and out there, and I just knew that I was in walking according to my purpose. I wasn't doing what I was made to do. And I think sometimes that you have to hit that low, that rock bottom um, to be able to live uh, your life and to be happy and to be joyful. I, well, I did. <laughs> I don't know about everybody else, but that's what I do with my life, doing what I was born to do. I know that's where I print network. I think sometimes we don't realize, you know, we get so caught up in daily life, um, worrying about others, trying to be there for others that we don't really take the time. Hey, Rochelle, how are you doing? Thank you for being here. I appreciate you being here. How was your Wednesday? I know my title. <laughs> In my title, I said Thursday. I want it to be Thursday so bad, guys. I want it to be Thursday so bad. <laughs> this is for me. No. Yeah, I don't know 
Lord who sent this to me. So thank you. So um, I wanted so badly. Hey, Mike, how are you doing? Oh, you can't hear me? I'll bring closer. What's going on, guys? Is that better, Miss Rochelle? Hey, Jeffrey, how are you doing? Hey, Mike, thanks for being here, guys. I know you guys are busy. So I just wanted to tell you guys really quickly, quickly, I'm not staying on here for a long time, maybe like 10 or 15 minutes, but I just feel kind of moved to share this. It's like in my spirit right now. So um, when I was 15, I guess that's 10th grade, and um, I was really down and depressed. Like um, I was in school. I was bullied every single day of my life in high school. I All the way from elementary school to middle school, I was never a popular person, I guess. You know, when you come from a Caribbean background, um, people make fun of you because, you know, you dress different, <laughs> you talk different, you know, you have a whole different vibe from others. And um, I was never really accepted. I was bullied, made fun of lots of things in school so I was really unhappy and down you know not having a friend and stuff so um I'm gonna do a whole nother video about this anyways but um I decided to like a way that I could handle it I just stopped eating um the term that they call that now is anorexia right so um at the time I just stopped eating. Hey, MC Plays, where have you been? Thanks for being here. So, um, I just stopped eating. Um, I think at the time I was 15. And uh, I guess that's the kind of way that I coped with it because I was so sad and so unhappy that I just decided to stop eating. And um, I think I got down to, let's see, I got down to about 80 pounds. So I'm five foot five, fixing my YouTube notifications. I hit 1.7K. Well, congratulations, MC, MC Plays. Congratulations to you. So, um, at the time, I was, yeah, you're five five. Yeah, I'm five foot five. So at the time, here I'm nineteen. Um, I at the time I decided to just stop eating. I guess it was the way that I kind of coped with the situation. I just decided to stop eating. And I got down to 84 pounds, and I don't know if you guys know, but um, for somebody who's 5'5", five, five, the average weight should be like about 125 to 130 pounds. So me being 85 pounds, I was, you guys do the math, I was really underweight. I was like pure skin and bones. And um, I think it got to the point where I blanked out at school. I passed out. So they called my parents and um, my dad came for me. And I think that's when my parents realized that, um, you know, something was wrong. I didn't eat because of my ex-girlfriend. I still have depression now, but I am eating now because YouTube opened me up. Well, that's good. That's good that you made a change in your life. So, um, yeah, um, now I know, you know, now back then they didn't really have the terms anorexia. Um, so at the time, that's what it was. I was anorexic. I was only 85 pounds, 15 years old. Um, and according to the doctors, <laughs> near death, you know, I was near death. Um, I believe sometimes that you stay alive for a purpose. Um, now I understand um, that I that what my purpose was um, I was not done I was ready to be done because I had come to a point where I was so unhappy and so sad 
that um I think what is that like th 35 I was 40 pounds underweight so for a growing teenager that was like you know that's crazy I um but you know my family didn't think that, that I had a problem and I think that's what um made me have the like I was at school and I was bullied and um, very unhappy and sad, didn't have a friend in the world. And um, then I came home and I didn't have anybody supportive of me. Uh, people didn't, you know, my family didn't listen to me. They didn't think I had a problem. They were just like, you just need to eat. So, um, and that didn't work for me. But I really needed someone to just listen to me and um, listen to my feelings and realize how unhappy and sad I was. So that lasted for, let's see, 10th grade, from 10th grade, no, 9th grade. It started off in 9th grade and um, it lasted for about a year. And about a year after that is when I found my faith and um, I believe that my faith inspired me <laughs> um, because I feel like sometimes that your faith can save you. And I know my faith did my trust and my belief in God. <sighs> he had a purpose for me. He wasn't done with me. And um, I'm so grateful for that now. So now I like to spend my time giving back to other women, other young girls who, you know, are going through the things that I went through. And I think it's important to be supportive of others. It may not be your story, you know, you may never have had a eating disorder, but um, maybe you know somebody who has one. And I think it would have been a lot better if I had, um, if I had support, you know, support school support at home so it's just an encouragement to you guys that you know I had a purpose I just wanted to say something that um, would encourage you guys that yeah bullies are always trying to destroy people and it was a lot harder than you guys think you know waking up every single day from I guess I think my first um, what is it called? My first, like, really knowing that I was being bullied, I think it started in third grade. So what age is third grade? Like nine. So the bullying started with nine because I was always a really slim person. And I was bullied because of, oh, you know, you're so skinny, you're so skinny. And then, I, of course, I was bullied because of my looks. Oh, your eyes are so big, your eyes are so big. And they had all kinds of jokes and you know, things to say about me. And um, I didn't get the support at home like um, some people did, like with their mothers, like to tell you to, you know, you can get through it and things are gonna be okay. All I ever was told was like, ignore them. But I think sometimes you need more than to just be, you know, just to ignore. Hey boss, Life Online, how are you doing? I think sometimes you need a lot more than just ignoring things, right? I know I did. Um, so when I was being bullied, when I had my eating disorder, I don't think some bu bullies understand how much damage they're actually causing. Yeah, they don't. And um, it got to the point where I was so unhappy that I stopped eating, I think, let's see, my eating disorder started in the end, the summer before I started high school. So I would say that's like 14 years old. So from 14 years old to about 16 years old, yeah, I was having this eating disorder and I got to the point where I got down to be 85 pounds guys so i am five foot five 
Imagine a person who's five foot five and 15, 16 years old being 85 pounds. It was just pure skin and bones is what I was. So I do believe that um, I was saved for a purpose. And um, I just wanna share my story with you guys and let you guys know that um, I had a lot of times where I was so down and distraught and lonely and lost and um but i made it through i believe that i had a purpose i believe that um god saved me because um there's no way that a person should be uh, alive at um 85 pounds there's no way i was pure skin and bones um but i survived i made it i got through it and um just to let you guys know that I'm not, I'm not perfect. I've had lots of struggles and that's just one or two of them. You know, the bullying, the eating disorder. That's just two things that happened to me in my early childhood. There's much more to come. Um, you guys will find out eventually when my book comes out and you guys find out what I've been through. I really have been through a lot in my life. I really have been through a lot. So I just wanted to give you guys some, you know, share my story with you guys and let you guys know that uh, I too have struggled. <laughs> um, I've been through all kinds of things, eating, di eating disorder, depression, um, abuse, you name it. But um, I didn't choose to feel sorry for myself and um, to stay down. I didn't choose to feel sorry for myself and stay down. I made a choice to keep going. I did make a choice to keep going. And um, I just want to let you guys know that um, I too struggle. I struggle a lot of times but I'm here and I chose to have a positive attitude and to be here for you guys and give you guys encouragement and motivation. Hey, Ray Ray, how are you doing? Welcome. I just wanted to give you guys some encouragement and motivation that, uh, what's, what advice do you need, Ray Ray? Um, I've been through a lot of things in my life and I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm not just like all sunshine and posi positivity. I have struggled. I have had negative feel. I am babysitting my seven year old niece, okay? And um, I've been through things. I just want to let you guys know I've been through things and uh, I've gotten through it with my positive attitude. Um, Believing in myself and believing in God and going to therapy. It's gotten me through a lot of things. So the things that I tell you guys is from experience. Um, to, um, it's an experience. And um, I've been through a lot. And I, I just want to let you guys know that things happen in life and you can make a choice on how you're going to handle it. If you're going to be strong, if you're going to believe that better is coming for you. That's what got me through my hard times in my life. I always knew that it was going to get better. Um, I always knew that it was going to get better and, um, oh, um, uh, Jeffrey, that was, uh, um, a troll. So I've been through things in my life and I wanted to let you guys know that your girl is not perfect. Uh, I'm not trying to be. So I wanted to let you guys know that I struggle. And um, I've been through a lot of things. 
So I'm not out here like so some people sometimes you guys wouldn't know I get nasty emails nasty comments that I have to delete that people think oh I just smile all the time like I don't have any problems not so at all guys I just choose to be positive I choose to see sunshine um, even if it's raining you know it's all about your perception and what you think in your mind it's a choice really and uh, we can make good choices for ourselves and be positive regardless of our situation you know knowing we have to know and believe full well that um your life is going to change and you're going to do better if you put in the hard work of believing in yourself and knowing yourself and um you have to know that and believe it uh, nobody can put love into your mind and your heart if you don't possess it you have to love yourself enough to believe it you have to know that um you know you're wonderful and you're blessed and you're loved in every way and yes geo is here Geo is here, I think. I don't know. Oh yeah, she is here. So, um, you, I just had to um, tell you guys that. I just wanted to share that with you. I don't know why, but um, <laughs> I just felt compelled to share my story with you guys. Just a little, just a little bit, a little touch of it. Um, after this live stream, I'm probably going to just hide this, um, put this live on private because I just want to tell the people who are my loyals, people who, you know, I re that really believe in me and know me and are here and have good vibes and not negativity. So um, just to let you guys know, I've had my, my share of struggles and hard times and times where I didn't want to be here but I chose to look at my life in a positive way and that's why I'm here to encourage you guys motivate you guys um, that uh, I'm here I'm still here you know I made it and uh, you guys can make it too because I believe in you guys I believe in you guys um, you guys have the strength and the power to get through any circumstance. Um, and I believe that there's all kinds of circumstances out there in life. Uh, financial, you know, you could be in a financial crisis. You could be in a health crisis. You could be in... Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, Jeffrey. You wouldn't believe that um, when I was younger, I never used to think... I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but um, when I was 14, I never thought that um, that part of my life, that cycle, you know, when you're in that negative space, you always feel like it's always going to be that way, that um, your life is never going to change, you know? <laughs> That's when you're negative. You always feel it's always darkness and sadness. and But um, I chose to walk in the light one day I just said I don't want to think this way anymore yes thank you boss life online um I believe that uh, sometimes you have to I don't know like I, I feel like cultivate certain qualities in, in 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 order to be a good teacher I believe to be a good teacher sometimes you have to go through the struggle so when I tell somebody about depression, when I talk about bullying, when I talk about abuse, when I talk about financial crisis, when I talk about all those things, it's not just me saying that. It's because I know. <laughs> I know it. I lived it. I've been there. I've done that. And I have rose above it. I've conquered through it. So when I give you guys encouragement, 
in those aspects. I'm not just saying it. Hi, Tizzer, how are you doing? Welcome. I'm not just saying it just to talk, you know, guys. I'm not just saying, oh, be positive. Oh, um, don't, don't um, be down or don't listen to the negativity out there. I'm saying it because I was in that space and I made a choice. Thanks for being here, Tizzer. Um, and I made a choice to rise above it. I think a lot of times when um, some people go through a lot of things, problems, difficulties, you know, bullying, health problems, whatever it is that um, you're struggling with at the moment, it's all about the choice that you make. It's all about the choices that we make, you know, guys, at the end of the day. It's about the choices that we make, how we choose to look at our situation. Um, are we going to make a choice to know that your life can change and will change because you're going to put in the hard work? You know, that's all life is. It's about lots of hard work and sacrifice and believing in yourself and um, surrounding yourself with the right people being in the right place at the right time it's all those things and I feel like sometimes all those things have to align for your life to change you know you have to be putting in the hard work you can't just want your life to change you have to be putting in the hard work by your actions you have to have a positive attitude you have to find people who are like-minded who are moving forward and doing good things with their life you kind of have to surround yourself with those kind of people in order for some changes to happen you know and uh that's what i did and um i hope you guys will be encouraged by me motivated and uh you guys uh encourage me too because i know some of you only through email i know some of you only through email you know, talking with you through email, and I know you guys' story. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it on here because uh, that's confidential. But you guys, some of you guys have been through a lot of things, and um, your strength is admirable. Your strength is admirable. Um, the things that you guys have been through, you know, losing your house, um, being in domestic violence situations. Um, being homeless, so many things, you know, losing your children to the um, child welfare services, um, loss of loved ones in your life, you know, alcoholism, drugs, lots of stuff that um, you guys have been through. You guys let me know through email what you've been through and um, thanks for sharing that with me. It lets me know sometimes you need something to um, humble you. Yes, Jeffrey, everyone has a story. Sometimes you need to be humbled, you know. You need to be humbled and realize that you are not the only one having difficulties. You are not the only one struggling. Everybody, just about everybody out there is struggling but it's about how you choose to handle it. Are you going to be positive or are you going to be negative? What kind of person are you gonna be? Is your dominant quality going to be that of love and uh, kindness and compassion? That's the kind of person that uh, gains blessings, you know? When you have those kind of qualities that despite your struggles, um, despite your problems, despite the negativity around you, you know, sometimes the most negative people in your life are that of your family. <laughs> Woo! I could write several books on that one. Sometimes the most negative people in life are the people who put that title on as family. And um, they're no family of mine. Because I believe that um, family, uh, you can make your own family. It's not always about blood. It's about the people who are there for you and they're supportive of you 
and show you love through everything, you know, the good times, the bad times, and the worst times. And um, I've made some relationships here on YouTube that is deeper than blood, you know. Some some people who uh, put that title on, you know, the, I'm your sister, I'm your cousin, I'm your auntie, but um, they're no sister, auntie, and cousin of mine, you know. It's about the way people treat you, you know, guys. You have to be careful who you let into your mind and your heart. Just because a person is related to you by blood, it doesn't mean that they're a good person to be around. They're, you know, some people's energy is toxic, you know. They're toxic, and um, you don't need that in your life. Sometimes the best thing you can do is to distance yourself from that negative space those negative people and that's when my life changed you know I, I battled back and forth for a long time you know and that's my whatever they are in your family that's my whoever I can't you know I have to take their phone calls I have to be there for them but all the while are they there for you are they supportive of you do they ever tell you even one thing encouraging most likely not most likely not so why put all your strength and your energy and your power into people who are like that what is it going to do for you is it going to encourage you are they encouragers or are they discouragers because it only goes two ways you know either you're going to encourage or you're going to discourage so be careful about what you, what kind of spirit you allow to be around you because it will drag you down. It will drag you down if you hang around those kind of people, if you talk to those kind of people, if you listen uh, to them because uh, they will just fuel you into a dark space. And um, that's not what you need in your life. We all need more positivity. We all need encouragement and um how much people out there would you know benefit if you heard all the good things we all need to hear good things about ourselves of course we're all imperfect and um we do wrong things and we hurt each other but what about talking about the good qualities about somebody what about that so much people out there will not do that and i i want to be that type of woman even if i don't have many people out there like me I want to show people that I'm different from others, that I am not a product of my circumstance, that uh, I know that's a popular saying that you're a product of your environment. <laughs> not true in my case, guys, not true in my case, because if I ate all the lies that was told to me, you know, all of the things that um, the titles that I was given, um, the kind of person that they said I was going to be. <laughs> if I was uh, eating on that, living on that, I would have been gone a long time ago. I would have been gone a long time ago. So it's all about the choices that we make in our lives, you know, guys. It's the choices that we make. It's the people we surround ourselves by. It's uh, what we read. It's what we listen to. It's what we believe about ourselves. It's all about that. So... I just wanted to give you guys some encouragement and uh, let you guys know that you are special and wonderful and lovely and you're awesome and your mind has power. You have the power uh, to get through any situation, even if you may not know how you're going to get through it. You will with a positive attitude, with positive thinking, with working on your goals you can achieve if you believe up here and here in your heart and your faith in God that will get you through everything you know having good friends having people who are supportive of you understanding of you and um, if you don't have anybody in your life telling you that I am here today to feed it to you a fuel you project you into a better life, into a better way of thinking, 
into positivity and love and light that each one of you deserve. Each one of you deserve love and light. And I hope that every day you wake up in the morning and say, I am deserving of this love and light. It is my portion. I tell myself that every day, love and light is my portion and I will accept in it, believe it and walk it. So I wish that for all of you guys, uh, love and light and peace and prosperity. So that's what I came to tell you guys today give you guys a little light and love and positivity and encouragement that um, even through hard times and dark times, negative times, uh, I was saved for a purpose to be here right now with you guys, talking to you guys. Um, and hopefully uh, we can continue to encourage each other. So that's what I wanted to say to you guys. Stay encouraged know your worth and you are worthy. I'll see you guys tomorrow.